Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I am Libby, and today I am doing an iOS 14 widget smith on my iPad Pro. I have the 2020 iPad Pro, and it's the 12 inch. It's not the bit, or maybe it's the 11 inch. It's not the it's not the biggest one, it's the smaller one out of the two. And I just downloaded um, iOS 14 today at work. And then I was debating on doing my iPad first or my phone. I still don't know what I wanna do with my phone yet with all the widgets and stuff. So I thought might as well just do it on my iPad first and see how that goes. So I'm gonna start screen recording. So I am going to screen record and I'm going to have it up here where what I'm doing on here, my iPad. And at the beginning, this is what my iPad looks like. Um, the background is a Big Sur and I found off of Pinterest. I'll leave my Pinterest down below. Um, but I really loved it. Um, I'm going hopefully to California soon for school. Um, so I just like having a background to remind me of where I'm going, where I'm headed, and it's always nice to look at the beach. But the app that you'll want to get if you don't have it is Widget Smith, and there are small, medium, and large. And today, I am going to do my background first. So I have a whole iOS thing. I'm gonna set my background. put this as my new background it's gonna be my home screen background and look at that it's all it's all cute and different I do miss the uh, big star wallpaper but it's okay I could change it but now I am going to add a medium widget to my calendar here and now I'm in landscape mode which will help with seeing the widget I put one on right now which I, I like how it is right now but I kind of wanted to add maybe like one or two more so I'm gonna go into the widget app again add medium widget hit it double tap and then go with the upcoming events I like that one I don't think I'll do anything too different oh, what else could I do oh I like this one kind of should I do a color Ooh. I'm like really new to all of this. This is the first time I'm really doing it on my iPad. Um, but it's really cool. I, like I said, I'm still so not sure on what to do with my phone because I use my phone a lot more than I do my iPad. So I thought my iPad, I can just test out things and I'm still not sure with my iPhone. But when I do, you guys will be the first to know. I'll make another video about it. I'm just gonna keep all of that the same and save it. Then I'll go here, hold it, add, add my, oh, it's not small. Add my medium widget there. See a little, no, not that one. I'm gonna change it because it was medium number one, but medium number two is the second one that I made. So now it is the calendar with my to-do stuff. Um, I currently don't have any to-dos. Um, I just work right now. I start school the 27th and then I have sorority recruitment. So stuff on here will get kind of busy as the month goes on, but as of right now, I have nothing else going on, which could seem a little sad, but what what are you gonna do? 
But I don't know if I like. I'm kind of not sure how I like that. Because I have like the two. So then I'll delete this one. Yeah, I'll delete that one. Say done. And then go make another widget, I think. Let's see. What else can I make? do a photo oh my gosh I forgot about that okay we're gonna add a medium widget and I'm going to add a photo now This one is literally my favorite. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Let's see how it turns out. But this is from Scream, what, the first one? I think it was the first one. And <laughs> it's just literally my favorite. Just chilling, killing. Literally my favorite line. I say it all the time. Okay, I'm gonna see how that works out underneath my calendar. I'm gonna put that. widget and medium widget then switch it to the third one dang it it doesn't show but i have had i had i had an android and then i switched to the iphone and i just missed the customization um, of how I could interact with my phone on the Android versus on Apple because Apple you can't really make it your own and it kind of drove me a little crazy but I mean now with this iOS 14 and having Widget Smith it's really nice that you can customize your phone and have it to whatever you want which I think is pretty dang awesome and I think we've been needing this literally ever since we have all had an apple phone <gasps> it worked i mean like why wouldn't it work but so i changed those and look <laughs> nothing chilling killing literally my favorite and then the middle finger not the most appropriate but awesome And then I guess this, what the heck is this? I don't need that. And then I need to add my medium widget again because it, wait, what, what? No, 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 I don't, wait, what the heck? They can like go inside of one, what? I didn't know that. Did you know that? Like, look, you can go, you can scroll. I don't like that though. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove them and add them again. Such a process, but it's totally worth it. And widget Smith, widget. This one will change to medium. And then these will go up, this will go up, and then and then that will be my finish Widget Smith screen, I guess. I really love it. This is really cool. Um, my iPad is pretty basic. I have um, just the regular apps here, then in this folder here I have just like all the random apps that I like to have my things in folders um, I don't like to have too many miscellaneous like this is fine because otherwise this page would not be filled up and I still like a page on here to be filled up and then I have my university folder with like 
notes and calendars and everything. And then this is my fitness folder. Um, this is the barcode app that I use literally every day. Be Hot, Tone It Up, and Headspace. This is all of my um, entertainment plus Procreate, Pixar, and my other app. Then there's Pinterest, the Weather Channel, or the, yeah, the Weather Channel app, which I really, really love. Roblox, because, <laughs> funny story. I got Roblox because the kids that I nanny for, they used to play it. They told me to get it, so I got it, and I don't really play it, but whenever they want to, I'll go on and play with them, you know. And then Widget Smith is the last one. And then on my dock, I have my uh, messages, Safari, my music. I have um, Apple Music. My mom and I have the family plan. And then I have Spotify Premium. Uh, SoundCloud, I don't pay for anything else for SoundCloud and then Pandora I don't pay for Pandora either so I have um, I have ads in those but this is my iPad and this is what I'm going to be looking at when I have it now I'm so excited to have something new something different and to just have it customizable now this gives me a lot of um, inspiration to do my phone because I still don't know what I want to do but if you guys have any ideas let me know and let me know if you've done this yourself comment down below send pictures and just let me know how you think that this iOS 14 widget smith is because I think it's really cool um I kind of I didn't really learn that much about it before using it I kind of saw this whole thing on YouTube and I thought it would be cool for me to do this and I really liked it. This is my iPad iOS 14 customizable uh, widget smith with the bonus what's on my iPad. I hope you all enjoy. Please comment below, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!